Welcome everyone to the monthly update on resale activity in Calgary and area. Housing activity, both in terms of sales and listings, improved this month. However, the rise in new listings is finally having some impact on inventory levels, which, on a citywide basis, increased over the previous year. While both sales and listings growth reached double digits this month, it's important to remember that these figures are likely overstated due to the historic floods that impacted the market last June. Despite the rise in new listings, the single-family market continues to remain in seller's territory. The rise in new listings was largely due to an increase in units priced over $500,000. This indicates buyers looking in the lower price ranges may continue to face a competitive market, while those looking in the higher ones may have more choice depending on community. Citywide benchmark prices rose by 1% this month compared to May, and are more than 11% higher than levels recorded last June. Price growth has far exceeded our expectations for the first half of the year. However, with supply levels starting to improve, this should take some of the pressure off price growth moving into the second half of the year. Condominium apartment prices also reached new highs this month, recovering from the previous peak in 2007. However, the recent rise in new listings has outpaced sales activity, generating growth in inventory levels and moving this market towards more balanced conditions. Next week, look for our quarterly update on Airdrie, Okotoks and Cochrane. As always, a realtor can help you interpret current trends as you consider what's best for you and your family. Kreb reports on sales statistics monthly. Make sure to check back next month for the latest activity in Calgary and area.